hi, this is Diane Dean, and I'm here today with Joel Honeycutt. Joel is another one of our Artscape artists. Um, Joel, will you tell me a little bit about the image that was chosen for the banner this year? Sure. Um, that piece was actually based off of a smaller piece that I've done for quite some time. Uh, that was just a, a series of kind of studies on on concave and convex shapes kind of, and how they kind of interact. Um, I had done the smaller piece and, and a couple of years ago I had a customer uh, commission on one in a bigger piece and I loved it. And so I, um, I kind of took her inspiration and, and uh, changed the drawings a little bit and changed the color scheme a little bit and kind of came up with that design. I uh, draw out a, a, a rough drawing of a, um, of a shape that I have in mind. Typically, I can kind of see these pieces in my head, and so I try to get something down on paper. And from there, I use a, a pretty rudimentary CAD um, a computer-aided design uh, program that helps me refine the drawing and, and get the curves where I like it. And at that point, I um, develop what's called a cut list. And if you're in woodworking, a cut list um, is sort of your recipe. It's, um, it's a recipe of all the little pieces of wood that I need to cut and the exact dimension of those pieces. Um, so at that point, I then go to the table saw, um, which is kind of behind me. So when you swing around, I'll show you the table saw with some in-process work. Um, and I cut, typically, depending on the piece, um, between 150 and 300 separate little tiny pieces of wood. Uh, which um, my wife then takes and assembles all those into a very rough shape. You kind of get a sense of all these little pieces of wood that are all glued together in this really not very pretty shape. Um, so this is the part that then I start carving on to, to, the, to develop the final form. Wow, that sounds really complicated, and I would have never imagined that they started as little hunks of wood. I thought I envisioned you turning it somehow and and somehow carving the holes into it. So I'm well, quite surprised. Turn with the holes already in there. So, um. Ninety percent of everything I do is maple for a lot of reasons. Um, maple is very accessible, renewable uh, wood. Uh, uh, it's a, it's, it's um, a very neutral palette uh, because I do so much color. The maple doesn't uh, inject itself a lot into the color. So, um, but at the same time, it's a very stable wood and, and, a, and I think a beautiful sort of canvas to, to work off of. 90% of the time I color, color pieces. Um, it's just a way that I can create the things that I'm, I'm, I'm doing uh, a lot of people do a lot of natural species, and that's great, but when I learned how to color, it just opened up this this incredible box of, of, of you know, crayons to work with. Um, and so once I learned how to color, it, it sort of has been the path that I've run on. Well, it, they certainly do turn out to be spectacular pieces. Elizabeth, thank you so much. Um, you know, the program, I think, is special for Hendersonville, and uh, it just adds so much to the town and, and, you know, people like Elizabeth that are willing to step up and, and contribute and, and put time, money, and energy into a program, I think is, is uh, something that our town should really be proud of. Yeah, well, I'm showing uh, in Aerial Gallery, which is in downtown Asheville. It's a cooperative gallery on Biltmore Avenue downtown. Uh, I also show work online, both on my website, which is... Uh, just joelhoneycutt.com and through a company called The Artful Home, which uh, produces a catalog and, and does some online sales. I am here today with Elizabeth McAfee. Elizabeth is both an artist and a sponsor of a banner in this year's Artscape. Elizabeth, tell us a little bit about why you decided to sponsor a banner this year. I have taken part in the Artscape banner program for several years. One year I did have a banner of my own and I've sponsored a couple of other banners since then. It's a wonderful project to get artwork out in the public spaces where people who are just passing by have the opportunity to see the kind of artwork 
being produced in our area. I see some interesting pieces on the table today, and I know you do um, paintings and wall art. These look like something different. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Yes, I have done some cigar boxes over the years featuring some of my artwork. Uh, it gives a different look other than being a flat piece of art, especially under glass. The cigar boxes are small. If people have run out of wall space in their homes, they can stand the box up on a shelf or a table, and that gives them a different option for displaying their own. And Elizabeth, I understand your work is at Art Mob. Tell us about um, what visitors could see of yours when they come to Art Mob. I have a space here with framed art. I have matted and shrink wrapped prints that are in another area. I have no cards for sale. I have some of my cigar boxes here, so there is a good selection of work here at the Art Mob.